Algebra is a language. In many ways, mastering algebra is just like learning French, Tamil, or Italian, or maybe even Japanese. To understand algebra, you need to learn how to read it and how to change plain English into math talk and math talk back into plain English. And some people call it as puzzle. Yes, with algebra, you get to find secret things. And when you learn some of the tricks, algebra becomes a fun challenge to work out how to solve your skills in solving each question. Okay, let's start with your puzzle. What is the missing number here? The answer is 8, right? Because 8 minus 3 equals 5. Easy stuff. Well, in algebra, we don't use blank boxes. We use a letter, usually an X, Y, or Z. But any letter is fine. So we write X minus 3 equals 5. It is really that simple. The letter in this case, an X, just means we don't know this yet and is often called the unknown or the variable or letter. And in algebra, a constant is a number on its own. Like fixed values here, negative 3 and 5 are constants. And when we solve this, x minus 3 equals 5, we write x equals 8. We can understand from that, oftentimes algebra substitute letters or variables for unknown values. That's why I said in the beginning, algebra is good to find secret things. But what is the real benefit of using variables? Before answering the question, read the short story. A man was carrying balloons, but the wind blew four of them away. He only has nine balloons left. How many did he start with? Well, this question has a bunch of words in it. Let's see if we can cut the question down a little. Consider a scenario where a man is carrying X balloons. The wind blew 4 of his balloons away. So, we subtract 4 from X. In the end, this man had 9 balloons. The total amount will then be 9. All we have to do now is find X. This is how the entire question can be written. So, absolutely, the use of algebra simplifies our daily tasks. Back to the same puzzle. Instead of saying obviously x equals 8, how to use the neat step-by-step -step approach? Let's learn that now. Generally, the very first thing is to do when we get to solve a puzzle or equation, isolating the variable on one side of the equation, here x, and remove whichever next to the variable, here minus 3. So we want to remove the minus 3. To remove it, do the opposite. In this case, add 3. Do it on both sides. Which is x plus 0 equals 8. Why did we add 3 on both sides? Just to keep the balance. If I add 3 to left side, it will be out of balance. To make it balance again, we have to add 3 to right side also. So, to keep the balance, what we do to one side of the equation, we should do to the other side. Let's solve this equation now. What we want is an answer like x equals some number. But the plus 2 is in the way of that. We can cancel out the plus 2 with a minus 2 because plus 2 minus 2 equals 0. So let us have a go at subtracting 2 from both sides. Which means x equals 7 minus 2. Therefore, x equals 5. Let's have another puzzle. What is the missing number here? The answer is 2, right? 
because 3 times 2 equals 6. Well, in algebra we don't use blank boxes. We use a letter. So we would write 3 times x equals 6. But the x looks like multiplication symbol. That can be very confusing. So in algebra we don't use multiplication symbol between numbers and letters. We put the number next to the letter mean multiply. So the answer is x equals 2. Let's solve another equation. That is 3x equals 6 or we can say 3 multiplied by x equals 6. But before that, what is the opposite of multiplying? Dividing, right? What we want is an answer like x equals some number. We want to remove the 3. To remove it, do the opposite. In this case, divided by 3. Just do it on both sides. Which is 1 times x equals 2. 1 times x is nothing but x equals 2. Let's solve this one. x divided by 4 equals 6. What we want is an answer like x equals some number. But the divided by 4 is in the way of that. If we multiply by 4, we can cancel out the divided by 4 because 4 divided by 4 equals 1. So let's try multiplying by 4 on both sides. We can cancel out 4 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator. So x equals 6 times 4. Therefore x equals 24. Summary To put your new knowledge into practice, try the your turn questions below.